So one way of looking at it is it's not just the robots, it's not AI coming for our jobs, but it's AI, but with the spin of GPUs and NVIDIA. This week, my For You page has been full of the Amazon layoffs and what's happening in that space. So if you don't know, Amazon has laid off the first 14,000 people out of the projected 30,000 layoffs that are to happen at Amazon. And it's been a mix of feelings on TikTok with people crying uh, and showing their great distress on camera. And some people in the comments have thought, you know, maybe this is not appropriate. You're revealing too much information about yourself. But, you know, it's it's such a shock when you lose a job after seven years on a job or even in your first year because you would have had so many dreams for that job. So anyway, um, in this video, I just wanted to talk through my thoughts around this because I found that most times when people hear about job layoffs, we immediately start to think about, oh my God, AI is taking over the jobs and the robots are coming and they're taking over jobs at Amazon. While this might be true, what if I told you that, yes, it's AI, but maybe not in the way that you think. One way of thinking of it, uh, this is what I found from researching more into this topic is I found out that uh, some people think that the Amazon layoffs have everything to do with AI, but just not in the way that you think. The issue is an automation, but it's capital pressure. We have heard a lot about NVIDIA on the news, and this is because NVIDIA are such a powerful company because they make and design graphic processing units, the GPUs, which are the chips that power artificial intelligence. And because of this, all the big tech companies really want these GPUs. You think Microsoft, you think Google, and also Amazon. If you've ever heard of Amazon Web Services, well, they're after the GPUs as well. So because there's such a demand for these NVIDIA chips, it has ended up affecting the corporate budget of Amazon. So that's one way of looking at it, that it's the GPU as it continues to rise, then there's what do you do? You have to cut costs elsewhere. And unfortunately, the people have suffered through this uh, rise in costs and rise in demand for GPUs, for the chips that power AI. So that's one way of looking at it. Another way is some people think that these layoffs are because Amazon realized that they make money seasonally. So at Christmas time, they make a lot of money through sales, but maybe the margins they are making are pretty small. So they are laying off people because maybe they suspect that this Christmas season will be a bit slow. Uh, that's another way of thinking. So there are three different schools of thoughts. There's one, the robots are coming for our jobs. There's two, it's all this talk around NVIDIA chips and the demand for them that has resulted in Amazon changing its corporate budget and laying off people. Or three, it's just plain business. Amazon are just looking at trends and looking at what might happen in the next holiday season and cutting people off. Well, I would love to hear what you think, but before I go, let's just look at some of these uh, videos I found on TikTok. I found this guy who's been laid off at Amazon and he got the call. He got an email at 5 a.m. Seattle time to tell him that he was being laid off. And then later on, he got a call from his manager where they were telling him that he had been laid off. So he has 90 days to apply for another job in Amazon. And then, uh, then he gets some severance pay which might be for another 90 days so that's what's actually happening but i liked uh his the way that he was looking at all this though so it's sad but he was encouraging people to click the follow button and follow him on tiktok so that he could share more on his story and possibly grow his tiktok account and make money 
that way. So some people are looking at different avenues. And I liked how in the comments you have some people who have been laid off a number of times and they are encouraging um, those who have been laid off at Amazon um, to, to look ahead, to look into the future with hope because sometimes maybe you are not fired, you are actually freed to do other things. So um, I really loved this guy's take on uh, what's been happening around him. The other person I watched was this young lady. She was a senior social media manager for Amazon ads. And through this job, she had been working at Amazon for a year and had celebrated her Emma anniversary, which was really good. She was talking about how through Amazon, she had visited other parts of the world and she had interviewed celebrities. So she had enjoyed her time at Amazon, which she called the corporate dream. And I know some people in the comment section were saying corporate and dream should not be used in the same sentence because these big corporates can really just spoil people's dreams in an instant. But, you know, there's different ways of looking at it. But this young lady was talking more around um, the time that she was at Amazon and how she had grown and the things that she had done at Amazon and now stepping into a new phase of her career. She was uh, looking ahead and looking ahead at things that she could do. So I don't know what your take is on all this that has been happening, but uh, the story about Amazon has really fascinated me and I wish all the people who've been laid off, I wish them the best. And as you know, I continue to bring you AI news as we receive it every week. So be sure to hit the like button if you love this video. Uh, consider subscribing to this channel. It's totally free and you'll be helping me out. So I know that what I'm producing here um, is appreciated by people. So anyway, thanks for listening today and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.